Welcome aboard all you world-weary travelers in search of a slice of sunshine in these crazy days. Thanks for joining me on another Slight Tide Travel Guide. This time, we're getting our feet wet off the beaten path as we explore the ins and outs of travel to the Bahamian island of Eleuthera. On this episode, we'll get into the details about traveling to Eleuthera, navigating the island, and take a peek at the type of lodgings that are available to all you Slight Tide travelers out there. Eleuthera, located less than 200 miles from the southeast coast of Florida, is a 110 mile long island that is part of the Great Bahama Bank. Officially, Eleuthera includes the main island of Eleuthera and its smaller sister islands, including Harbor Island and Spanish Wells. The island has only 11,000 residents and is still relatively undeveloped, sporting 150 unspoiled beaches for travelers to enjoy. Eleuthera may be a bit more rustic than many of its Bahamian neighbors, but it is home to some of the most stunning scenery that you will ever visit. So if you long for a touch of adventure or just want to unplug completely from modern life, this island might be for you. There's world-class snorkeling and diving, sport fishing, funky beach bars, and that amazing island vibe to go along with some of the best beaches on the planet. So the first question is, how do we get to paradise and what is it going to cost me to get there? Getting to Eleuthera is both easy and unusually inexpensive. Let me offer a brief word about the airports in Eleuthera. Don't expect Hartsville International. Everyone's on island time, so just relax. Don't start your vacation by getting angry at the guy running the baggage claim. Centrally located in the middle of the island, Governor's Harbor Airport services many private flights as well as Bahamas Air, Aztec Air, and other island hopping airlines, but you won't find any international flights arriving or departing here. On the southern end of Eleuthera, you'll find Rock Sound International Airport, though I couldn't find any international flights flying there. You can fly into Rock Sound from the neighboring Bahamian airports such as Nassau or Georgetown. On our trip to the island, we landed at North Eleuthera Airport. Like all the airport facilities, North Eleuthera is Spartan at best, but it was clean, the people were very friendly, and eventually we were able to run down our rental car and get started exploring the island. A couple of items of note on the satellite view of North Eleuthera Airport. If you can make out Airport Road running parallel to the runway, that's where you'll find your rental car contact. There's no Hertz or Enterprise here. The rental car companies are all locally owned and they'll be waiting for you outside the exit to the terminal. Also, if you can make out the bars across the street from the airport, that is where travelers will await their departing flights. After check-in, you just grab a table and a beer, and someone will cross the street and call your flight when it's time to board. We flew Silver Airlines into Eleuthera. The flights were under 400 bucks round trip from Fort Lauderdale. You can see uh, some video here of me disembarking, getting ready to get on the plane, and some shots of us flying into the Bahamas here and, and what it looks like flying over Eleuthera coming in beautiful flight coming in, especially once you get over the Bahamas, uh, the water change, the color of the water change is amazing. Both Delta and American fly into Eleuthera, so if you're committed to flying one of those major airlines, you have those options. It's roughly a 90 minute flight from the coast of Florida to Eleuthera, and I pulled up some uh, examples of ticket prices here on eSky and Travelocity. Flights for under 400 bucks round trip, it's pretty inexpensive uh, vacation for somebody to get out there and enjoy life. If you're traveling to Eleuthera, I strongly recommend renting a car. The island is 110 miles long, and your goal should be to see as many of those 150 stunning beaches as you possibly can. To be honest, it's tough to do that without a vehicle. Eleuthera is incredibly easy to navigate. As you can see on the map, the Queens Highway is the backbone of transportation on the island and runs its entire length. There are very few turnoffs, so getting lost isn't an issue. The road is completely paved, decently maintained, and not very busy. The Queens Highway will take you through most of Eleuthera's main settlements and offers some stunning views, including the world-famous Glass Bridge, where travelers can see both the Atlantic Ocean and Caribbean Sea as they cross. Here's some video my wife took as we crossed. The light blue water to the right is the Caribbean Sea. The dark blue to the left is the Atlantic Ocean. With that being said, there are some things travelers should be aware of before taking off to explore Eleuthera. Road signs can be scarce but the locals have done their best to help identify points of interest like this swimming hole. Also, to reach Lighthouse Beach, which is a must, you're gonna have to pull up your big boy pants and take some risk. But honestly, we made it in an old minivan. As they say, scared money don't make money. And if you wanna spend the day alone on a beach like this, then you're gonna have to get some mud on your tires. 
I promise you, it's totally worth it. Let's talk rental cars. If you're traveling to Eleuther for the first time, you're going to need to temper your expectations. Rental car companies on the island don't offer new cars, and many of the cars may have 100,000 miles or more. They're not what we're used to in the States, but they are dependable and get you where you want to go. Just don't expect a late model Toyota Highlander with all the bells and whistles. There are quite a few websites like this that will let you reserve your car. We rented from an individual, paid cash for the week when we picked up our vehicle, and were not required to show proof for valid driver's license or insurance, so take it for what it's worth. Lastly, let's look at where to stay when you visit the island of Eleuthera. Eleuthera is very different from many of the well-known Bahamian islands frequented by tourists. There are very few hotels that offer true resort-like facilities on the island, but that doesn't mean that the island lacks luxury. Resorts like the Cove, French Leave Resort, and La Bougainvillea can offer visitors an exquisite experience, but that comes with a hefty price tag. Very often, rooms at these resorts start at the $400 a night range. If luxury is what you're after, feel free to use one of these resorts as your home base, but don't allow yourself to get stuck at the resort swimming pool. Be sure to go off the reservation and get out exploring. For me, these types of resorts have never been my cup of tea. I end up feeling compelled to hang out there because I've spent so much money on accommodations. I prefer to find something a little less lavish and more affordable and reserve my cash for excursions. If you're looking for a great trip to Eleuthera and to save a little money, the island offers tons of VRBO homes that you can rent for an inexpensive price. These are just a few homes available on the island for less than $200 a night. I pulled these photos straight from the Verbo site. They're all cute little cottages with great views and outfitted to help you enjoy your time in Eleuthera. I pulled up three examples from the Verbo site here, somewhere between $100 to $200 a night of cottages you can rent. I chose Rainbow Bay, which is centrally located on Eleuthera. This is where my wife and I stayed. It's a great location for access for the entire island. We rented a really nice two bedroom in Rainbow Bay for roughly $800 for the week. With airfare and everything, we had about $1,600 in our trip. We spent $400 on a rental car, all told $2,000 for a week in paradise. That's not so bad. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like and share it with your friends. Please subscribe to the channel. Be on the lookout for more videos from Slack Tide Adventures on Eleuther, including Lighthouse Beach, Spanish Wells, and Harbor Island. I hope you guys get out there and find your own Slack Tide to enjoy.